You work in finance, okay. How many times have you been pepper sprayed? <laughs> very, who, who had that? That was a sweet giggle. One of you had a very... It was a sweet giggle. Has it been commented on before? It's a lovely little chuckle. I like it. No, you're welcome. I'll uh, ask you to record it into my phone and I'll play it back whenever I feel sad. <laughs> that's why we do this. <laughs> We're all clinically depressed and your laughter keeps us on the right side. Um, that's nice. Are you guys New Yorkers or visiting? Uh, I'm from Chicago. From Chicago. <laughs> so are they, apparently. <laughs> lovely stuff. Chicago. Lots of women. All the women in Chicago. I like they cheer at the word women as well. This is fun. Um, uh, what, what do you do in Chicago? I work in marketing. In marketing for? A company that makes pepper spray. A company that makes pepper spray. <laughs> Weirdly, they're not cheering that one. You think, you think that women in Chicago would be like, yes! We take the L train, we need it! If you thought the New York subway was bad, geez, I... So much crack smoking goes on on that train over there. Um, you work in marketing for pepper spray. It must be quite hard to make a commercial for marketing pepper spray, right? Because you're really, you can't just put up a poster that just says, rapists. <laughs> right, that's not, that's a bit too on the nose. So how do you, how do you market it? Currently we're trying to make a lifestyle brand. A lifestyle brand. <laughs> It's just this bonkers, bonkers time. What's the brand name, maybe else? Don't, are you saying don't say? Okay, okay. You, no, I, would, I would say that someone who's in marketing, your one job is to say, this is a captive audience of 150 people who, you know, they're in New York City, they need it. It's a, life, a pepper spray lifestyle brand. So the fact that you were like, don't say, are you a lawyer or do you also work at the company? You work in finance, okay. How many times have you been pepper sprayed? <laughs> I didn't actually hear your answer, but you took some time to think, which makes me the... What was the answer? Not by her, thankfully. Not, not by her, thankfully, but that suggests someone else has. Oh, dear. Um, maybe you were thinking, because you were like, was it pepper spray or was it mace? I can never tell the difference. A true connoisseur can taste it, a true... <laughs> I'll pepper spray you. Uh, no, bitch, that ain't pepper spray, that is. That is mace. Which one's, which one's better? Mace is more, is more effective, isn't it? Right? Mace is illegal to have in, in your handbag, but pepper spray is legal because it's just, you know, spread hot. No, oh, no, you... Mace is just like a... It's like Kleenex. Mace is Kleenex? Okay, so this is how she markets her brand. She fucking roasts other brands. Oh, I thought you meant it was soft and... Okay. Yes, they do. Oh, very good. Look at that. Thank you. Yeah. Dyson and vacuum cleaners. Yeah. Chris Turner and world's greatest comedian. That's my name, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. You market pepper spray. When you were little, growing up in Chicago, it was what was your dream? Because it wasn't marketing pepper spray. Otherwise, you would have been expelled from every school you went to. What do you want to be? I want to burn people's eyes out. <laughs> Get back 20 feet! <laughs> I'm your father. <laughs> you wanted to be an author? Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. What type of books would you would you write if you could write? Someone over there just giggled. Are you did you think I assume that women can't write? Is that what I was? <laughs> if they taught you how to write, if you had just a quill. No. Jane Austen changed all that, isn't it? She showed women you could write stories about men in top hats in fountains and stuff. Well, I've read books, shut up. <laughs> what, uh, what type of books would you have written? I would like to write Coming of Age. Coming of Age, yep. okay, that's cool. I'm not like stuff, like stuff. So my finance boy, it's cool that you, you're with someone who's got a really interesting life and job, and that makes up for, you know, your dull existence, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, look, I hang out in basements for a living and talk to strangers, so that's... You know, Nothing to write home about. What was your dream growing up? You didn't want to be in finance. You had loftier goals. <laughs> Astronaut. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, being in finance, if you make enough money, you just buy a ticket and go up there with, you know. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, yeah. And he just married someone who's like, you know, younger than him and cool. She's younger than you, right? Yeah, no, I could tell. Um, one year. 
Oh, well, you've just got a better skincare regime as well, haven't you? Oh. Well, you can mock a man for not having good skin. I'm, I'm 22. <laughs> no, I'm That'd be terrible. Amazing. So our pepper spray lifestyle brand. Can anyone, can anyone top that? Can anyone beat that for a pretty rad job? You're just shaking your head like, like no. Who's, who loves their job? You just, you just, you just went, yeah, well, what do you do? You work for Yeti, the cooler company. See, that's how you market a brand there. You just say it. Although I guess, I guess, right, like, everyone likes Yeti because we all like coolers and stuff. So you said, people are like, oh, yeah, we've had some good fucking cookouts and parties and stuff. You were like, if I say the name of the brand, there's going to be some angry men who'll be like, that one got me. That one. I'm going to uh, file a lawsuit against you. Yeti coolers. That's great. What do you do at Yeti? I'm a project manager. Project manager. I've never fully understood what that means. It's an engineering background. Yeah. You engineer coolers. How do you iterate further upon, it's a box full of ice. You have to buy the ice separately. It's a big con. Can't we just, you know, it has to say Yeti on the side. Why? Because Yeti is cold, isn't it? It's from really the cold lands. It's a great brand name. It's the opposite of pepper spray. It's hot. It's cold. Look at this, it's late guys, come on. I'm not gonna make stronger links than that. And you don't love your job because you didn't put your hand up. You work in tech, of course you don't love your job, yeah. <laughs> Yeti coolers and pepper spray lifestyle brand. <laughs> What's your name, Yeti lady? Sorry, no, I shouldn't call you that. <laughs> oh, you hairy slag, what's your name? <laughs> you Tibetan wench, what is? <laughs> Please no one tell someone that tonight I refer to a woman as a Tibetan wench. <laughs> Lose my green card. What, what's, what's, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel. Hello, lovely name. What's your name? Colleen. Colleen? Yeah. You're Irish. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Look at that. <laughs> Irish pepper spray. Because <laughs> the Irish have the blandest food ever. So, you know, they're like, oh, that's too much for me. Ooh. Okay. Colleen. And you say, oh, you are nice people. I'm married, married to an, an Irish woman. So. Uh, lovely. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> Need a big finish, don't we? It's the last bit of the night. Uh, let's uh, let's do a big finish, Val. Let's. Uh, let's do that one. Jesus fucking Christ, Val! Right to the start. Back to the start. That's it. Okay, you didn't ask me about my job. What's my job? I'm a freestyle rapper, you motherfucker. Oh, you say comedian. Oh, you're a comedian. No, more than that, mate. More than that. So let's uh, let's crack this up a little bit and let's serve up some shit. What's your name, Tech Boy? Carlos. Carlos, like, let's go. Carlos sitting there, white guy, but named from Mexico. South of the border, my respect is like, hey, you're a pain in the neck. I'm in tech, I don't love my job. I wish I had another one. The girl on my right side got it going on. She's the best wound up, like spaghetti. Keep it so chill with a nice little Yeti. That's a cool brother all around the market. If you got another brand, yeah, you can't start it. You're never gonna beat us, never gonna reach. Can't outcompete if you're on the beach or at the lay beach. Get a little pause like right down to your side with the nice eyes that's a yeti like it's coming from the pool appalling i called you this at all i was like i should mention a tibetan wench on the table but here she was like you're gone i never say that like a far east harlot coming over here yeah my guy started he was advising don't say the name but marketing is literally my game i've just got to make sure they know today the end of the show shouting out pepper spray she'll be giving free samples there on the steps you can walk to a guy, just aim for the neck. You can keep him in check if he gets too close. Spray it in his eyes, his mouth, and his nose. Every single hole, and maybe up the bum. But he might like that, so we might try and run faster, faster. Like, yes, I like he in the night. He made my eyes so spicy. Spray, spray, hey, hey, get it nice aim there. Like the Mexican name, because that's spicy. Carlos, yo, so thrills. Right, the pepper heat on the Scoville, that's the scale. Is it much hotter than we? No, hotter like the bomb, maybe hotter 
than a jalapeno Well definitely it's more like a Carolina Reaper You were marked in like Lisa We need to orientate, do you understand? We need to get on TikTok like a lifestyle brand Make it for all the Gen Z I like pepper spray, oh my gosh it gets me You could try this team with Billy Eilish Going over there, Tate Ray, try this You could get them branded with the Diamante In your handbag, I know you want these You'd be walking around, see Sashay, maybe Beyonce could do the pepper spray. She could be like, yeah, it's shiny. I did this in tandem with Blue Ivy. They could team up and spray freely. You could get a rap verse by Jay-Z and they would have fun. There we go, don't forget these pepper spray lady and last from Yeti. Hey.